Hello my friends, we are back in Luminar Neo and uh, today we're editing this photo over here. I took this photo yesterday here in Acadia National Park and the weather was not so great and as a result it's not the best photo but I figured well, let's see what we can do to fix it and make it better. I will start the develop module and here I am going to maybe take down the highlights a little bit, open up the shadows so I can get a little bit of details on the rock then let's see what else do i want to do i will increase the vibrance a little bit maybe like that i will go to enhance and i will increase enhance to maybe 33 34 something like that looks good to me maybe even a little bit of structure not too much, maybe eight. Let's see, what else can we do? We can go to landscape. And here I will add a little bit of the golden hour just to warm up a little bit the rocks. A little bit of foliage enhancer, even though I don't think we need it. Uh, let's see. All right, now I want to change the sky because it's just still really a boring image. So maybe we'll try to make it look like a night sky. And we have a few options. Let's see which one looks good. I have this one. I kind of like that one. I feel like it kind of goes with the colors. This one is very, very blue tone, so it doesn't really go with my image. This one maybe a little bit too dramatic. This one might work. Uh, I think that's it for dark, like night skies. All right, I will go with the first op option over here. And if I zoom at 100%, you see I'm getting a gap, like it didn't really find the sky that well. I'm getting this little gap. So let's fix that. I am going to go back and do 50%. Uh, maybe 25, so I can see my whole image. Nope, go to fit to screen. All right, and now I will go to mask refinements and I will increase the global and that already helps a lot. Maybe close the gaps a little bit. All right, I am going to go to the sky orientation and I'm going to move the horizon position. I'm just going to move this lower so it kind of fits my image. All right, what else do we need to work on? I will have to relight it. So do we want to flip it? How will it look the other way? Well, that's quite nice though. Nah, I still like it the first position. We'll go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. I think it gives it more balance. Then I'll go to scene relight and I'll increase that. I want to darken the foreground just so it can look more like a night photo. Maybe something, something like that. We'll just make it more, match a little bit better. And that is looking pretty good. Maybe that's too dark. Maybe something like that. All right. Now, I think I like that. Do I want to add anything else? Maybe some toning? No. Let's see how are we doing over here. Do I get any halos? So if I go to 100% and I go over here, no, that's pretty good. All right. Fit to screen. Now, if I would work on Lightroom or Photoshop, I'll probably send it to Topaz Denoise and remove noise. But uh, I don't really like using the Denoise and Luminar Neo. So I think I'm just going to leave it like this. So let's see. This is our before and after before and after that is not bad at all i think that is pretty good and we'll call it good let's see this before before and after well i hope this was helpful thank you so much for watching my name is kylo ewing and i will see you in my next video